elevate the quality of your films and maximize the potential of your Canon R6 camera by learning, developing, and implementing professional color grading techniques. So today we're going to be working with Canon R6 footage and my custom picture profiles. We have also added in some Canon Log 3 footage that we can use to compare my custom picture profiles to. I was challenged to color grade the same Canon R6 footage that you just saw last week in Final Cut Pro X. Now normally I color grade in DaVinci Resolve, but I did start in Final Cut Pro X, so I did learn a thing or two. Challenge accepted. Today I am going to color grade some Canon R6 footage in Final Cut Pro X. Let's get started with it. We are working with some Canon Log 3 footage, some of my custom Cinema Elite picture profiles, then we have some more of the picture profiles, and we have some Canon Log 3, and then more of my profiles. Something to note about Canon Log 3 versus my custom Cinema Elite picture profiles is that with my Cinema Elite picture profiles, you do get a cinematic grade straight out of the camera, and all it takes is a quick little LUT, and then you can get an image to look Pretty dang good. All right, so let's get started with the Canon Log 3 footage. We're going to come to the little I here and press basic and change it to general. Change your camera LUT to whatever your uh, gamma is, in this case, Canon Log 3, cinema gamut, boom. And that's gonna convert all of our Canon Log 3 footage. And you don't even have to do any color grading at this point. So let's keep on moving to just neutralize the footage. All right, so the rest is going to be my Cinema Elite picture profiles. All right, so I'm gonna start here. So when it comes to color grading, the first step is always converting. The next step is correcting, and then you do the color grading. So we've converted the footage. The next step is to correct the footage. I always like to expose to the right when I'm filming, so that's why my images will look brighter. When you color grade in Final Cut Pro, it's important to start with your shadows first. So we bring our shadows down until the black points that you see, like these really dark black points, hit this bottom line. Adjust your highlights. So according to the Ansel Adams scale system, the highlights of where the sky is at should sit just above 80 in this scenario. Now I'll do before and after, and that's already pretty close. The next thing to do is just add a little bit of saturation and voila, check that out, converted. Now we can copy that because it's a basic adjustment and then paste it to these other two Canon Log 3 clips and that already gets us pretty close. That one's done. This one just has to adjust the midtones a little bit. Again, according to the Ansel Adams scale system, color is perfectly fine and we are now balanced here. Everything is corrected and everything is converted. All we have to do is grade it. We have two Cinema Elite picture profiles here. So we have Cinema Elite and Cinema Prime. You're looking at Cinema Prime. That's the quickest way to get a cinematic image straight out of camera. And as you can tell, I'm just pasting on the contrast conversions we did with the other clips. And we're already halfway there. I'm just gonna take it, paste. This one does need the gamma to come down a tiny bit or the midtones and voila, there you go. Shadows, midtones, highlights, luma levels look nice. This one is a little dark, so let's bring up the shadows and the midtones. Now, when you are color grading shadows, midtones and highlights, You'll see that we're clipping some information at the top. Don't worry about it. A true cinematographer knows that there is always a true black and a true white point in an image. Now, clearly this one is uh, oversaturated. So we're going to bring down the saturation and then we're going to look at what's going on with our exposure. Now we're going to take down our highlights to where they would sit, which would typically be right around here. And then our midtone, add some saturation back in and we have before and after. Now everything is completely converted and completely corrected. All that's left to do is grab an adjustment layer and then stretch it over all of your clips. All right. So we're just going to come over to Cinema Pro. You guys don't have this folder, but I do. It's just a preset that I've created to make editing quicker. As you can see, everything already looks cinematic. I would export the footage in Final Cut Pro just like that. Export file, settings, that's how I would do it. Click next and then just go ahead and save. 
that project however you would want to save it. And that would be my entire workflow. That is all for me. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any comments, reach out to the community first, but if you still need help after that, you can always reach out to me directly by downloading the mobile app. I'll see you in the next video.